There are three things that make an adventure great. The story, the characters, and the amazing locations. Aerith's Journeys is no exception. So take a seat, relax, and get ready to visit some incredible places. You've heard the legends, right? About the island covered in trees that's never in the same place? If you think you have, trust me, you haven't. The only people who know about it aren't willing to share the details. You can't even see it at first. The spells cast over a sanctuary prevent them from being seen by the common eye. Only the presence of other magic will break these protective barriers. It's amazing what the original wielders of magic were able to do. What we know now? Ha! <laughs> it's nothing compared to their knowledge. And if you thought finding the sealed forest was the hardest part, then you're sadly mistaken. The forest is a fortress of its own, lined from all sides by impervious trees. Trying to get in from above? Good luck! As far as I know, you can only enter from specific locations. These entries aren't marked, by the way, but if you know what to look for, you can find them. What? You want me to tell you? Try thinking for yourself for once. Find it, activate the right notes, and the way will open. The inside is a beautiful nightmare. Flourishing plants and other life stretch all around. Towering trees, butterflies with glowing wings, and mushrooms that emit odd lights are everywhere. You think it's beautiful, but this place is dangerous. The trees are always watching every step you make. Don't believe me? Go on, damage something. I dare you. What, are you scared? You should be. The most deadly things are often the most beautiful. Heh, <laughs> just look at me. Even drinking the water in here isn't recommended. Are you sure those are frogs? They might be. They might not. But I'm more than willing to bet you're not brave enough to try it for yourself. Keep going further along the trail if you can keep track of it, and the forest will show you its true form. By that I mean it can be anything at once. Seasons change whenever they feel like it. The lush, lively trees can decay into autumn, leaving you to walk through a rain of leaves. Winter can take over in the blink of an eye, and you'll be trudging through knee-high snow and freezing cold. Hell, the forest can even burn down around you. You won't even feel the flames. It's as if the place exists outside our reality somehow. Trust me though, it's all real. If you somehow manage to make it to the heart of the forest, you'll stumble across what remains of whatever civilization used to dwell within. Stone structures, bridges, and runes carved into the walls. Heh, <laughs> I still don't know if the bones here are from those who lived here, or travelers unlucky enough to make it this far. The forest won't let you leave unless it wants you to, so get used to it. Now there's two interesting things here. First, a doorway that won't open, at least not on its own. The other is a cave that leads you to somewhere you wouldn't have seen from the outside. A tree that's taller than any skyscraper lives here. It's not only the soul of this forest, but of the Earth itself. Its roots stretch across the entire planet, but you've probably never even noticed. Look, I can't explain everything to you. Just know that this isn't any normal tree and stop asking so many questions. Now, back to the door. The tree is what will open it. Careful if you go to the other side. What's waiting there isn't for your casual explorer. Unless, of course, you're ready to fight a giant soldier of stone that could crush you in its palms. Heh, <laughs> hope you're ready for a real battle. Because this thing's not going to go down easy. It's there to protect something. Something that was meant to be forgotten. An ancient seal protects another realm that we can't see. I can feel it. I can hear their voices luring me to this place. To open the gate deep within the heart of the forest. What? What's going on? I can't control my own actions anymore. The gate, it shouldn't be opened, but but I can't stop myself. I, I can't, can't describe, describe what's on the outside, outside. or who. What, what do they want? want? Why, Why is this happening? Help me. What's up, Buttercup? This body, it ain't yours anymore. <laughs> Truly a shame. I would hope it wouldn't have had to go this way. <laughs>